in the name of Allah who is the most beneficent and the most merciful assalamu alaikum to all of you today the topic under discussion is amino acids what are amino acids amino acids are those organic compounds that contain both amino and carboxyl group they are called as amino acids so we we can write its definition those organic compounds that contain both amino and carboxyl group they are called as amino acids general representation is representation how we represent it is as follows this is central carbon it is attached to four different types of different atoms first of all first side contains r group means alkyl side chain second one is hydrogen third one is nh2 which is called as amino group and fourth side is CWH which is called as carboxyl group so we are saying that uh, those organic compounds that contain both amino and carboxyl group they are called as amino acids uh, uh, the difference occur among this group means this alkyl group is different in different amino acids while these three are same in all amino acids ok next we will move towards its classification uh, amino acids are classified into four different types first of all they may be essential amino acids they may be non-essential amino acids third one is they may be acidic amino acids and fourth one is basic amino acids now what are essential amino acids uh, amino acids basically there are uh, 20 amino acids that are very important for uh, for uh, every life uh, the 10 amino acids out of these 20 are synthesized in human body those amino acids that are synthesized in our human body they are called as non-essential amino acids while those amino acids that are not synthesized by our human body and they are required for our proper health proper uh, growth they are uh, how they are achieved they can be gained by our diet we can take them from our diet and any deficiency in them causes different diseases so we can write its definition as those amino acids that are not synthesized by human body by human body I call as essential and non-essential are those amino acids that are synthesized by human body are called as non-essential amino acids now what are acidic amino acids those amino acids that contain two carboxyl groups they are called as acidic amino acid because carboxyl group is actually acidic group that's why so though uh, those amino acids that contain more than one carboxyl group they are called as acidic and similarly amino group is basic means those amino acids that contain more than one amino groups they are called as basic amino acids so we can write here 
दोज माइनस सिक्स दैट हैव टू का बॉक्सिल ग्रुप्स दिस इज का बॉक्सिल ग्रुप आई कॉल डैस एसिडिक माइनस सिक्स एंड बेसिक इज दोज माइनस सिक्स दैट हैव टू अमाइनो ग्रुप्स आई कॉल डैस बेसिक अमाइनो सिक्स नाउ एग्जाम्पल ऑफ एसिडिक इज एस पार्टिक एसिड एंड ग्लूटेमिक एसिड एंड एग्जाम्पल ऑफ बेसिक अमाइनो एसिड इज इट मे बी लाइसिन और इट मे बी स्टीडियन ओके नाउ वी मूव टूवर्ड्स नॉमन क्लेचर नॉमन क्लेचर दे आर नेम्ड अकॉर्डिंग टू आई यू पी एस सी एज वेल एज ट्रीवियल नेम्स बट ट्रीवियल नेम्स आर मोर कॉमन फॉर एग्जाम्पल ग्लाइसिन वर्ड ग्लाइसिन वर्ड इज डिड फ्रॉम ग्रीक वर्ड ग्लाइकस मीन्स स्वीट मीन्स दैट कॉमन नेम्स आर गिवन ऑन द बेसिस ऑफ द प्रॉपर्टी और फ्रॉम द सोर्स फ्रॉम विच दे आर आइसोलेटेड ओके जनरली दे आर कॉमन नेम्स आर एब्रीविएटेड विद द फर्स्ट थ्री लेटर्स ऑफ द कॉमन नेम्स फॉर एग्जाम्पल Glycine word is abbreviated as gly. First three letters are G L Y. So, glycine. It can be abbreviated as gly. Similarly, alanine. It is abbreviated as an. Okay. Now we move towards the list of amino acids. first of all we will write its name then we write its nature then its abbreviation and finally its structural formula ओके फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल ग्लाइसिन एलानिन वेलिन एस्पार्टिक एसिड ग्लूटेमिक एसिड lysine glycine alanine valine these are neutral in nature aspartic acid and glutamic acid are acidic in nature and lysine is basic in nature next abbreviation as we have said that first three letters are used for their abbreviation so glycine is abbreviated as gly alanine as ala valine as val <coughs> next aspartic acid as asp glutamic acid as glu and lysine ly s next we will write its structural formulas first of all glycine this is if side chain alkyl contain hydrogen then it is called as glycine if this contain methyl group 
then it is called as lna okay and when this contain isopropyl side chain then it is called as valine okay this one is glycine alanine valine now come towards the aspartic acid aspartic acid as a term indicate that it is acidic means it contains two carboxyl groups okay this one alkyl group contains ch2 cwh means there are two carboxyl groups that's why this is called as acidic next one is glutamic acid glutamic acid is CH2 CH2 CWH Next we'll move towards lysine which is basic its structure is CH2 thrice CH to nh2 because we are saying that it is basic means it has two amino groups okay this is list of amino acids now we move towards now we move towards structure of amino acid structure of amino acid is called as vitter ion because it exists as dipolar ion means it has both positive and negative charges within the same uh, compound and it's how vitter ion is formed look here c double o h n h 2 this carboxyl group donates its proton to this amine group then it will be convert into nh3 positive c double o negative this is called as zwitterine it is also called as internal salt okay now we will move towards its behavior or its character it show both acidic and basic character acidic character and basic character are due to groups that are attached that is cwh carboxyl group and nh2 amine group how it shows this behavior when some acid is added to amino acid then this carboxyl group accept that proton of that acid means basic behavior is due to this group but when some alkali is added then this amine group donate its proton to that alkali so acidic behavior is due to amine group so our uh, representation is that nh3 positive c double o negative when an acid comes because it had has protons then it will accept that proton and will convert into C double O H. Okay, and when some base comes or alkali comes, 
and alkali is OH negative then it will donate its proton to this one so acidic behavior is due to this one and it will be represented as NH2 plus H2O okay next one is we will move towards synthesis how it is synthesized It is synthesized either by acid or by aldehyde. Consider this acid. When it treat with bromine in the presence of phosphorus, then alpha bromo acid is obtained. R C H B R C double H. It is called alpha bromo because this bromine is attached to alpha carbon. Okay. This alpha bromo will react further with ammonia, then it will be converted into amino acid. Okay. Second method is from aldehyde. Consider this aldehyde when it react with hydrogen cyanide in the presence of ammonia then what will happen alpha amino nitrile will be formed this is nitrile or this is called a cyano group it further undergoes hydrolysis hydrolysis is acid hydrolysis then it will be converted into alpha amino carboxylic acid okay now we will move towards its reactions Its reactions are either due to carboxyl group or due to amine group. Consider When this amino state react with alcohol, then amino esters are formed. C double O. This R dash will come here. R dash. So this is alpha amino ester, which, which will be formed. Next one is. Reaction with nitrous acid Nitrous acid means NaNO2 in the presence of HCl So this is alpha hydroxy acid will be formed along with this nitrogen gas. Next we will move towards proteins and peptides. 
or we can say it as peptides and proteins what is peptide when two amino acids come together then dehydration occur between amino group of one amino acid and carboxyl group of another amino acid so uh, due to dehydration peptide linkage is formed when a lot of amino acids combine together like in hundred or thousands of uh, numbers then they result in polypeptide or they are called as proteins what is the difference between proteins and polypeptides uh, if combination of amino acid produces a new compound that has molecular mass up to 10,000 then it is called as polypeptide but if its molecular mass is greater than 10,000 then it will be called as proteins so its reaction is you can look here this carboxyl group of first amino acid and this amino group of this amino acid it undergoes reaction dehydration will occur means removal of water will occur then then this combination or this type of bond is called as peptide bond so peptide bond is basically CONH group this is called as peptide bond okay and these peptides hundreds of thousands of these peptides combine to form polypeptide and uh, ultimately form proteins now what are the foods foods that contain amino acids different foods contain amino acids like they may be meat seeds eggs poultry etc okay now what are the functions of uh, these amino acids its functions are as we are saying that thousands of amino acids combined to form proteins so they are very important for the synthesis of proteins and these proteins have a vital role in our body along with proteins they are involved in the synthesis of hormones and synthesis of neurotransmitters which transmit nerve impulses in our body so this is all about amino acids thank you so much Allah Hafiz